Motabe. Mohetla, uh, can you give us a little bit of a, um, an update as to what's happening at Witzer? When we chatted to you earlier, it looked rather quiet there. Good morning, Lian. Indeed, we are here uh, at VETS and we're still waiting for the students to take their place just behind the Great Hall here. But with me right now is the Professor um, um, Tawana Kupe, who is the Vice Chancellor of VETS University, just to give us an update exactly what the position of VETS itself uh, at this point in time. Uh, very good morning to you, uh, Professor. This good is going to good morning to you. This is going this is going to be the ninth day of the protest in this uh, in this university. Could you briefly tell us what's the position of the university so far? At the moment, what we are trying to negotiate and, and try and organize is a meeting with the students on the concourse of Senate House uh, to discuss the way forward since the announcement by the minister that is going to cap fees at 6%. So we ho we hopeful that the meeting could happen today or tomorrow and then that we could resume the academic schedule next week and then going forward also lead into examinations. So what plans has the university put in place uh, to make sure that exams go forth? Uh, we are not really sure if this protest will go on, but we're pretty much sure that if the students don't get what they want, they will pro proceed with the protest. I think there will be. A, one can anticipate what the students will do. I think there will be negotiated segments of one kind or another. But what the university is doing is closely watching the timetable and ensuring that as soon as we can meet and come to some degree of agreement around those issues, then we resume what was left of the academic uh, teaching schedule and then we put in exams. There is still time uh, to, to make sure that that happens uh, before Christmas. I think we can actually have a schedule that puts everything in place. Uh, we start rolling, we write exams and so that next year can roll. Thank you very much, uh, Professor. Uh, there you are, Leanne. The, the university, of course, is looking to reach some agreement with the students here. Um, and then we understand that uh, a little bit later today, we are expecting or will be expecting religious leaders to come forth to speak to the students here. They will be led by uh, Archbishop uh, Mahoba himself here at the university. All right. Uh uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, that's uh, reporting live. Our reporter that's there, uh, Mahetla Motabe, and he's at Witz University. Now, remember that news that's coming in this morning is that also here, just uh, down the road from Witz University and also from our studios here in Johannesburg, the University of Johannesburg has joined this protest. This comes a week after Witz University started the campaign, and uh, this is now the scenes that are happening in UJ. But besides that, that's also happening in East London. It's happening all over the country. So we will bring you up to date the entire day reporting live. As you can see, our reporters are positioned all over the country.